Hey guys, uh, Luther here from Luther's Woodworking. Uh, welcome to my YouTube channel. Um, today we're going to be making a train. I've been wanting to do this video for a long time. It's a cute little train for a kid. Um, it's going to be probably three or four, maybe five videos just to complete the whole train. But today we're just going to be working on one part of the train. So let me just show you what we got here, what I'm going to be doing. We have this train right here. It's a three-car train. If you can see it right here, it's got the engine, the coal car, and the caboose. Um, I sell these trains just the three the three cars, but there are seven more cars to go with this that hooks up to these. And you can see they all hook up. They all hook up really nice, and they all fit in and turn. And that's what you want. Um, like I said, there's seven more cars. But what we're going to do, do today is just make the, the wheelbase on this train. Just this part right down here that holds the wheels. Um, the engine has a wheelbase. It has a little cow catcher uh, shape on the front. And it's got the hitch here on the top. You'll see it's towards the top. Well, then you got the coal car, which has got the wheelbase. It's got a hitch here on the bottom and one on the top, opposite. And then you got the caboose, which has got the hitch on the bottom. And then there's uh, nothing on the back. So there are three main <coughs> wheelbases for this train. Once you learn how to make them wheelbases, you'll be able to make as many cars as you want, as many, as many engines, coal cars. You just got to make them three wheelbases. Um, so we're going to head over to the table saw and, and I, and, and another thing, this is all made out of two by fours, two by sixes, two by eights. If you're a woodworker, you know what I'm talking about, but it's just all made out of inch and a half thick material. Um, you're going to start out with a two by six or two by four, and you're going to end up with a wheelbase looking like this. So this video is just going to be on making these wheelbases. You can see. Right here, I have my sample pieces right here. And then, then you have your piece right here that you cut to make it for the car. And then here's the finished um, wheelbase right here. So we're going to head over to the table saw, and I'm going to show you exactly how this is done. Okay, here at the table saw, like I said, it's all made out of these uh, scrap pieces of 2x4s, 2x6s. Um, this is just a short piece. We should have enough to make uh, three different wheelbases uh, for this train. So the first thing you want to look at, well, if you look at these 2x4s and 2x6s, you'll see the edge of them are always rounded like this. And you need to cut that off. So you want a nice straight uh, edge on this board. So all you're going to do is move your fence. You're just going to trim off that edge. You just want to trim off that edge on that piece of wood to start out with. So we will get that trimmed off, and then we'll head to the next step of this. Okay, see how that's nice and square now on the bottom? It's a nice square piece. So now... What you want to do is set your thickness of your wheelbase. Um, the wheelbases are actually um, one inch uh, thick. Let me just let me just grab one here. Okay, so here's a wheelbase right here. Um, if I measure this, I want to say it's, okay, it's seven-eighths, seven-eighths thick. That's the thickness you want these wheelbases to be. So all I'm going to do, and i got a, a block here I can set up my table saw here to match this thickness. But if you don't, all you got to do is measure seven-eighths. Yourself a seven eighths 
distance measurement somewhere somewhere close to seven eighths okay so once you got that set at um, seven eighths thick you're gonna take the square edge of your two by six here I got two by six and you're gonna put that up against your fence and you're gonna run that through and cut three pieces so we'll run that through Three nice pieces of wood, seven eighths thick. These are going to be our wheelbases, but we need to cut them a little shorter because the wheelbases are only uh, six inches and five inches. So let's head over to the chop saw and we're going to cut these down to the length we need them. Okay, here at the chop saw, what I did was marked out uh, six inches. I got two of them marked out at six inches. And I have one marked out at five inches. We're just going to cut these to length. Alright, so we have two pieces at six inches and one piece at five inches. Um, now, uh, we're going to head over to the um, workbench. We'll go, go back to the workbench here, and I'll explain a little bit of this other stuff to you. Okay, back at the workbench. We have um, one block here. This is going to be for the engine. We got one block here that's going to be for the uh, coal car. And we got the shorter block here. This is going to be the base for the uh, caboose. Now, the engine, you'll notice on this engine right here that it's got a 45 degree angle cut for the cow catcher right here. We'll need to put that on uh, one of these uh, boards. So, what we're going to do, let me grab a I like to mark, I like to go just like this here and kind of make a mark like that. It kind of gives me an idea. This is where I'm going to cut that 45 degree off. So, and like I said, I made, I made templates so I can set my saw, my chop saw up right up to the right 45 degree angle. But it's really no big deal. You just got to set your saw at 45 and cut this off. So let's head back over to the chop saw and just cut that off. Okay, back at the chop saw here. What we're going to do is we're going to cut a 45 degree angle off this edge right here. Now, I have, you should be able to see this here. I have my fence set up here as a stop. And what I do is I use my template right here. This is my template I made. I can just set that in there. And every block I set in there will have the same, the same 45 degree cut every time I do it. So I just set my block in there. And I can just do a 45 degree cut. And every one will be the same. And there's your there's your 45 degree angle for that um, front part of that engine. So we're going to head back over to the, um, actually we're going to go over, we're going to head back over to the workbench and uh, talk a little bit more on this. Okay, back at the workbench here. Now, you have your one block cut, 45 in the front. You know this is going to be your engine. And then you got the other two blocks um, right here. We're going to actually go and cut this notch that comes out for the hitch. You can see 
you can see right here, the engine, it's got the bottom part cut out right here. We're gonna cut that notch. And actually that notch actually goes in one inch. It's cutting one inch and it's cut exactly down the center of this block. So what you're gonna have to do, and like I say, I got templates so I can set my saws up, but we'll end up cutting down one inch down here, if you can see this. And we're gonna actually, this will be scrap. This piece right here will be scrap. And the top piece we're gonna keep. And we're gonna do the same thing over on this block right here, which this was this block here is gonna have two of them, one on each end, but opposite. And then on the caboose, we're gonna end up just with a notch cut out on one end. So we're gonna head back, we're gonna head over to the uh, bandsaw and I'm gonna show you how I got that set up to cut these notches. Okay, at the bandsaw here. Now, remember I said I had a, a template here with the notches already cut out. I use this to set up my bandsaw to get this exactly right down the middle. Now, if you don't have a template and this is the first time you're making this block, like on this engine one, you're gonna have to find the exact center of this uh, block. You're gonna end up, um, you're gonna have to try to find the exact center. You move your um, bandsaw, and you're gonna have to find the exact center of that block, or, or real close. You want an exact center of that block. And then lock your fence down, and then you can make your cut. And then if you make a whole bunch of these, you just leave it set, and you, they'll all be the same. But I have this template, and I suggest making these templates if you're planning on making a lot of these toy trains. And what I do is I just stick this template in here, and I kind of lock my fence down. I try to get it set as good as I can, right down the center. So I got that set. Now, if you can see, I have a stop block right back here. Now that's going to stop my cut one inch in. That's going to stop my cut. And I'm using a quarter inch blade in my bandsaw. If I go in here, it's only going to cut one inch deep because I have a stop block right here. And that's a good idea to do that if you're going to make a whole bunch of these. So now that I got that set, what I'm going to do is start cutting that... Um, not so. So I'm going to start with my engine here. And I'm going to make one cut. Straight down. And we're just going to set that aside for now because we want to keep that same distance for the rest of these. This is for the this is for the other this is for the other car the coal car behind it. That's got to have a notch on each side. So we're just going to take it in here. Just one cut down. It'll so hit the stop block. Okay. Now when you go to cut this other side, take it out and flip it like this. You want to keep the same side up against the fence. So your line is cut the same distance from the fence. See, now we have that one. And we're going to do the same thing with the caboose one. Because the caboose just gets... The caboose just gets one cut on one end. So now, we got them three notches all them cuts in this in these boards. Now what we're gonna do is move our fence and we're gonna grab my miter slide here. Hopefully you can see exactly what I'm doing. The miter slide. And we're gonna start out with well let, let's start out with the car. This this block is good for all the cars you make. Uh, the seven cars and the coal car, this is the block that gets the two on the one on each end. So what you're gonna do is just 
you can see where this is one inch in. What I usually do is just line that up to make my cut, to cut that notch out. And it's hard to see, but I have that blade lined up with the edge of that cut. <coughs> See, I made one, that notch come out of there. It's one inch deep. Now, what I'm going to do is you want this other part up here. You want to save this part up here. So I'm just going to flip it and turn it this way. Now, this is a scrap piece. So I just line that up with my cut. I just eye it up. You can do all line if you want. I'll just eye it up. Now we have the two notches, one on each end, but one's on the bottom, one's on the top. This block will be worked for all seven, all eight cars basically. This block will work. Now, to go to the next one, let's say the caboose, here's the caboose one. Basically, you just got to cut out, make one notch on one end. So, we're just going to line that up. I'm just lining the blade up to cut down, to cut that one notch out. Now we have that. And this is going to be for the caboose right here. Now, as far as the engine goes, the engine, you want to the hitch, let's call it, the hitch. You want that on top. So this is the top piece is what you want to keep. So you're going to end up cutting it right here to get rid of this bottom piece right here. And I just do the same thing. I line that up. So there's the engine right there. You got the cow catcher in the front, and you got the hitch part in the back. So you got the engine. This is going to be the coal car. It fits like this. And then you will have the caboose that fits like this. All fits together. So let's head back over to the workbench and get going on the next step. Okay, guys, next step. We have... Um, the engine, like I showed you before, and then we have the coal car that's going to go behind that, and we have the base for the uh, caboose. What we're going to do next is we're going to put these holes in for the wheels. Now, these holes ain't exactly in the center of this board. They're lowered down towards the bottom, and the reason I did that is because I wanted to have a little bit more clearance when I put the wheel in. But you wanna make sure you have enough um, material right here so you don't um, come too close to the edge. But I didn't put the wheels centered because I use inch and a quarter wheels and I wanted to have, here's an engine here, I wanted to have a little bit more clearance on the bottom for this here. So I didn't put them exactly center. So we're gonna head over to the drill press and you can see on my sample piece here let me see here, we have, and I, I suggest making some templates like this because I have written on here 1964 holes. That's the size of hole I use because I use quarter inch dowels for my axles. And 1964 hole is a good size hole for that dowel to, to spin really good so you can get a real good um, turning wheel. So I already got my drill press set up to drill these holes. So we're gonna do that next step is to put these holes. Well, before we go over there, let's, let's just, um, when you have templates like this all made up, what's nice about that is you can take your block that you just made and you can lay this on this template like this. If you can see that, uh, you can lay your block right there and you can mark right where the holes have to be. On the engine, you get three holes. So then I can just take 
my square and just go down here and put some lines here. Hopefully you can see this. These are where my holes are going to be for my engine. Then I go for my car. Um, my car is going to be these holes right here. And I believe, let's see what's here. Okay, I have to find my template for my car. Okay, here's a, here's a template right here. What you're going to do is take, for your car piece right here, you can take your template. And if you're doing a whole bunch of these, this helps. You can mark right where your holes are going to be. Then you can just take draw some lines down and that's where the holes are going to be on your cars and then on your caboose you can take your caboose uh, template and lay that up against there and you can mark where your holes are going to be so it's kind of handy having these templates because then you don't really have to do much measuring with a ruler you can just grab these you can just grab these templates and just go to town so now we have these blocks we have all the lines on where the wheels go we're going to head over to drill press drill these holes okay i want to mention something here that i didn't mention um before um we talked about the the measurement for this notch was one inch exactly down the center of this uh, block and then the blocks are seven eighths thick inch and a half thick we talked about that um inch and a quarter wheels are what are on this uh particular train now when i lay out these uh cars or any toy i make usually when i lay out these cars um as far as i didn't really talk about the measurement from these wheels the holes Basically, I just laid these out. I laid the wheels on my vehicle like this. You can see I just laid them out like this and kind of got an idea where I wanted the um, wheels to be. Um, if you take a measurement on mine, because I don't have a blueprint for this pattern or a PDF or any type of plan for this. It's all in my head. This is just, you know, what I got. But these are about... Um, well, it's hard to, these about an inch and an eighth center. It's about two inches from the end, I would say, um, on these. It's hard, it's hard really to come up with a measurement, I guess. Um, just, just lay your wheels on here, wherever you feel that it looks good. Um, that's where the wheel is going to be. But remember, you don't want the wheel right in the center. You can see if you put it right in the center, you don't have much of a, a space in the bottom here for clearance. So that's why I moved my wheels more down towards the bottom of the block. And once I get the wheels kind of where I want them, just just make a mark, you know, on that. And then that's going to be basically, you can see here, that'll be basically where your wheels are going to be. Um, there's no science to it. Once you get the main blocks made and you make your if you make your um, templates, once you get your main block and you have your sample pieces and drill your holes, I always paint mine red just because if this would fall off the table in my workshop, I would know anything that's red is a is a setup block um, or a sample piece. But once you get these made, you always have them. You don't have to worry about measuring your wheels and like that. So that's how I determine where my wheels went. Because I know I didn't mention as far as the distance or where to put the holes and all that. I just mentioned that they need to be down towards the bottom a little bit. So 
I just wanted to throw that out to you. Um, even on the engine here, the engine I wanted three wheels, so I decided, okay, three wheels. That's what. That's that's where I wanted the three wheels on the engine. So once I had that there, I would just mark with a pencil, and that's where I put them. There's really no particular wrong or right way to do it. Just lay your wheels out on your block, and um, put them wherever you want. Obviously, you don't want your wheels real close together because that wouldn't be very good. And you don't want them real close to the edge because you don't want it to interfere with the, the turning of the next car. So just basically put them out there, make your marks, make setup blocks like this. So you always got them for reference and you should be good to go. Okay, here at the drill press here, um, like I said, I do have my drill press all set up with the, the 15, the, um, what is it? Uh, 19, 1964th drill bit. All I got to do is uh, line my bit up with that line that I put on that block. <coughs> Drill the hole. And there's your, there's your caboose. You go for the car. see here like I did the caboose right here here's the caboose it shows that hitch down on the bottom right here just like this you want to make sure that you have the holes towards the bottom with the block being like this you don't want to have it like this you want it like this the car really doesn't matter because that can be flipped either way well once you got to have the holes towards the bottom on these. Let me see. Okay, see on the car? The cars, cause, because this train hooks up. Hitch on top and the bottom. And the next one will be top and bottom. You got to just make sure that you got the holes in the correct way so these all hook together and all the holes are towards the bottom so on this engine let me just get here on this engine right here the hitch is on top and here's the engine so you want the holes on the bottom here you just got to make sure you get the holes on the right side of the block. Alright. So we have all the holes drilled in for the wheel blocks. And we're going to head back over to their workbench so we can talk a little bit more about this. All right, back at the bench here. Now, I just want to explain this again to you. We have <coughs> the three, <coughs> excuse me, um, we have the three blocks laid out here. You want to make sure these holes are towards the bottom because that's the bottom of the car. That's the way I got this train made 
where the engine starts with the hitch on top. So the next car, the hitch is going to be on the bottom. And then, then if you go to the next car, that car on the other end, the hitch is going to be on the top. So it's got to go top, bottom, top, bottom. Kind of hard to figure out, but it, it's, once you get going, you'll see what I mean. Um, so the next thing you're going to want to do, once you got all the holes drilled, you need to put holes in here so you can put your um, pig in for your hitch. So what we're going to do, you just take your blocks, and how I do it is I just... I just line up corner, corner to corner, it's hard to see, but corner to corner like that. Let me see once how we can do this. Just take it corner to corner and just put a mark right there. And then we're gonna go corner to corner. And put an X right there. So you're going to end up with a X in the middle. This would be the middle of where you want to drill your hole. And you're going to do that to all of them. You're going to go through and I don't know what the easiest way to do this. Just draw yourself a little line. So you can get the X right in the middle. You do that to both sides. Hopefully you can see this. Just gonna go like that and then on the caboose, you're just gonna do the same thing. You're just trying to find the center Somewhere close to the center there. And now we're going to head over to the drill press. You just need to drill some holes down inside that. Okay, at the drill press here. Now, like I say again, a setup block. I make a lot of these. I got written right on here. 15 64 hole for here. So if you make yourself a block, just write all the information right on it. You, got all, you don't even have to use a tape measure anymore. So... I got a 1564 drill bit in here, and the reason why I'm using 1564 is because I got these 732nd axle pegs that I buy, and I'll put a link uh, in the description below where I get these from. But I'm using these. If you're using something different, you need to uh, come up with something different. But I'm using 732nd. I got a drill bit gauge here, and it's a 732nd. Um, Axle peg, so that's what I'm using. If you use something different, you're gonna have to go with a different size hole. I'm just gonna fill these holes. you can see this because I'm just drilling these holes. Just drilling all them holes in these blocks to take them axle pegs. So now we're going to head over back over to the bench and do the next step. All right, back at the bench here. Um, now, so we have our blocks made. We got the holes drilled in. We got the hitches cut out here on each of the cars and we have the holes in there next thing we're going to do is we need to um, cut this rounded or sand this rounded on each end you want that block to look like that so that way your car hooks together it turns like this that's what you want to do so what I like to do is, let me grab my pencil. What I like to do, instead of sanding 
all these all this material I like to just take this here and just kind of draw a line right here you don't have to but I like to just cut some of this off you can use your bandsaw or your scroll saw just cut some of this off a little bit right here see I'm just drawing on there just just cut some of that off um, I'm just drawing on it to show you but normally I probably wouldn't need to draw you just need to uh, cut some of this off so you're not sanding all that material um, on your sander so let's head over to the scroll saw and we'll just zip that off all right here at the scroll saw here I'm just gonna cut a little off this corner right here so I don't have to sand a whole bunch of that cut some of this off so I don't have to sand, sand all that with the uh, disc, disc sander. We're going to do that to all of them. So you just want to sand, cut that off because uh, otherwise you're spending all that time sanding that extra material. We're going to head over to the disc sander and uh, finish these up. Alright, at the disc sander here, we're just going to round these edges um, so they all fit together. Pigs here, we're just gonna give it a try here once. Uh, let's see, this is, the, this is the engine, so that would go like that. Now, we're gonna do some more sanding on this, but I just want to see, I just want to show you that'll go in there and see how that turns all the way. That's what you want, and then the caboose will go on. I don't have another axle pig, but let's just take this one here. The caboose will go on. And that'll go in there and that'll turn and if you have to do a little bit more sanding or adjustment um, you can you just want to make sure all these turn really good so what we'll do is we'll go over to the other sander and we'll just kind of sand these up a little bit okay at the belt sander right here I'm just gonna sand these blocks basically take all this soften up all these edges
sand it up. We're going to head back over to the bench. All right, guys, we are back at the bench. Let me show you what we got here. Now, I'm going to do some more sanding on these blocks. Um, you can sand them up to however you want them to feel. Get all the, get all the stuff off of them, fuzzies, and soften up the edges because these are kids' toys. Um, get any pencil marks off, things like that. So... Um, just go through the block and just clean it up a little bit, get sharp corners off of it, things like that. But anyway, this is the three blocks. Okay, this is the engine. This peg right here will get glued in. Then you got the coal car. That's going to come up, hook up like this. Then you got the caboose. This will get glued in right there. And you got the caboose that go like this. So you got all this moving good. And them are the three, the three main uh, blocks for this train. Um, like I said, there are seven more cars in this train. And let me just show you them seven cars. Okay, the ten cars we have in this train are the engine. We have the coal car. We have the gondola car. We have the passenger car. We have the flatbed. We have the tank car. And we have a state car with removable logs and we have the center beam car these uh, pieces of wood come off the side there's two on each side <coughs> and we have the box car and we have the caboose them are the 10 cars that we are going to be making in the next couple of videos. Like I said, this video was just for making the three main wheelbases. So if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button and uh, ring that bell because I will be doing more videos. Probably two, maybe three more videos to finish this train. The next video that I do will be on making some of the parts that go on top of these wheelbases on the engine and, and the coal car and all these different parts that go on the top of all these to make the cars so hit that bell so you get the notification for my videos and then we'll see you next time